The Ghana Audit Service submitted findings of a survey of 38 residential homes for children in four regions, Greater Accra, Western, Northern and Ashanti. The survey was conducted between August 2011 and November 2012. The report revealed 96% of residential homes operating in the four sampled regions were not licensed and the Department of Social Welfare did not have data on the sampled homes and had also failed to inspect homes to ensure they operate within permissible standards. The report recommended all such illegal homes be shut down and apply for licenses to operate. Responding to questions from the committee, the Gender Minister said her ministry is making frantic efforts to improve the livelihoods of children in orphanages. We're scaling up oversight, strengthening, because um, there, there, is, there are possible abuses where people can pass off and people can actually use that as a conduit to uh, raise funds, but it doesn't really go um, to the children. I'm aware that um, Orphan Aid did some research, and even uh, in terms of malnutrition, the malnutrition rates in some of these homes are higher than for the general population. So even last year, we called um, a meeting, our ministry called a meeting with uh, the food industry, together with uh, Ghana Investment Promotion, on how they can help um, so that we support the orphanage. So it is a critical issue for us, and we're scaling up. There are presently some 6,000 children in approximately 120 foster homes across the country. Officially, there are three government-run foster homes, that is Osu, Kumasi, and Tamale Children's Homes. The Ashanti region has 23 homes, the highest number, followed by the Greater Accra and Volta regions with 19 and 18 homes, respectively. The Greek ministry later appeared before the committee. Sitting continues tomorrow.